MVP Hockey Skills Volume 2 Skills and Drills brought to you by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Hey kids, you having fun playing hockey outside on a beautiful yeah, day like this? I am. Oh. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Well, hello everyone and welcome to MVP Hockey Skills. I'm Andy Petrillo and we have lots of fun planned for you because today we're talking about skills and drills on the driveway and the focus is on stick handling. We're going to be showing you a bunch of stuff that you can practice on your driveway and then take, of course, to the ice. And I have the perfect players to help us out. How about former MVPs Joe Thornton and Marty St. Louis? Marty, Joe, so happy to have you guys back on the driveway with us. Thank you for joining us once again. We're talking skills and drills. So, Marty, how important is stick handling to your game? Well, it's very important, Andy, because, uh, you know, unlike Joe, I, uh, I, I can't just use my size and get to where I want to go. Uh, it'd be nice, but uh, I have to stick it all through a few guys and uh, create some space that way. So you got to be creative. Joe, what is your stick handling all about? Yeah, just... Uh... Usually being a center iceman, you're always kind of pushing the, the puck through the, the neutral zone, so you really don't stick handle too much. I think you stick landing more or less uh, in the uh, offensive zone behind the net, and just um, it's obviously a very important part of your game, though. You guys made some very good points. Depending on your position, depending on your size, that's how you adjust mm -hmm. your stick handling. Yeah. Well, let's get things started. All right, guys, in our other DVDs, you showed us some warm-up exercises, get ourselves all loose, ready to play. What other stretches can you show us to help us prevent injury? Okay, first, we're going to just run on the spot, get loose a little bit, get the blood flow going. All right, guys? Okay. Now we're going to go to a different stretch here. Move back and forth. So your body goes in the opposite directions of your hands? Yeah. Do that for about 10 to 30 seconds. You'll be feeling good. <laughs> Nice body stretch. All right, now a very similar running on the spot, but we're going to bring our knees up, okay? We're trying to touch our knees, bring our knees to our hands, okay? A lot of bouncing around. That's right. So this is a lot of power, I'm noticing. Really okay. loosening up the legs. Okay, now we can go right into butt kicks, okay? Bring your heels, bring your heels to the palm of your hands. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys feeling okay. good? Yeah. A little bit loose. All right. Great exercise is a great way to loosen up. Let's hit the pavement. Grab the sticks. Put on the gloves. Yeah. Let's go. Just a friendly reminder to always be careful when you are running after a ball outside your playing area. Look both ways and always be aware of any cars or people around you. And please, be respectful of other people's property. talk about controlling and passing the ball two very important aspects of the game all of the top players in the game have talent when it comes to stick handling and passing and I have two of them with me right now Joe how much of a factor do those two key aspects play into your on ice relationship with your teammates well they're very important obviously I'm, a, I'm more of a passer with my game and I have a great white, right winger with Jonathan Chichu does uh, most of the, the score the goal scoring for our team so uh, it's key to have a great relationship with them. Excellent. Marty, 43 goals last season. How much does that help with your teammates? Well, obviously, hockey is a team game, and uh, you need the people alongside with you to be creative and generate scoring chances. And I'm fortunate to have, you know, Vila Cavalier and Brad Richards to, uh, you know, try to make stuff happen. So it's a lot of fun. Ball control passing, very key. And I'm sure many of the great players have spent hours off the ice practicing this skill. What do you say we grab the kids and work on this now? All right. Let's go. It's time to let your talent shine. Joe and Marty are going to take us through some stick handling drills while standing still. Gentlemen, take it away. All right. When we stick handle, we want to make sure our feet are shoulder width apart. Your bottom hand is not too far down, not too far up. Your hands are away from your body, so you have nice range of motion, okay? When we stick handle, we stick handle with our wrists, not our arms, okay? It's nice and smooth. Your wrists are moving back and forth, okay? Your head is up. It we can go wide, you know? It's something you can practice anywhere, okay? Inside and wide. Okay, over to you, Joe. Okay, this next drill, uh, we're just going to have the ball in front of you. Stick hand with your head up. And then we're going to just move her right down to the side, right beside you. So that can kind of prepare you for a nice shot. And then we're going to move right back to the front. And then over to your back end. This gets you just 
keeping your, your head up, knowing where the ball is, and then right back to the front. Feeling good. Marty? All right. As you uh, stay a little, you want to try to challenge yourself. So let's do this on one leg, okay? One leg. Here we go. We keep our head up. Okay. Once you get a little tired, you switch to the other leg. Okay, and again, we stick it over the wrist, not the arm. All right? Take it over, Joe. Okay. This one, we're just going to kind of strengthen our wrists a little bit. We're just going to go with the one hand. So put one hand on your stick and just stick handle back and forth. That's going to strengthen up your wrists a little bit. Okay, you can feel that burn a little bit. Now we're going to switch hands and do it with the other hand just to kind of feel the puck with the other hand or the ball. Yeah, that's good for the wrist strength. Okay, Marty. All right. Another great way to feel the ball or the puck, you know, is to do a little rotation with the ball. Okay, the ball's in front of you. You know, it's a great way to get a feel. The more you feel the ball or the puck, the better stick handle you're going to be. That's something, again, you can do anywhere. Here we go, Joe. That's good, guys. Okay, the next drill is the toe drag. Everybody likes to see how the toe drag works. It looks really fancy on the ice. So we're going to keep the ball out here, and then we're just going to bring the ball right back to the shooting stance, okay? And we're going to bring it back out again, and bring it right back in. That's good for a one-on-one -on -one moving. You, just, you can practice this uh, right in the, the driveway or right in your room. Just bring that right back. That's a nice drill to have. Marty? All right. Okay, now, again, we're all about challenging ourselves. We're going to keep our hands away from our body. We're going to try to stick it all around our body, okay? And to do so, you have to make sure we're nice and uh, wide with our hands, but not too tight, okay? So we're going to stick it all to the side. We're going to bring it behind us, okay? Move it to the other side, bring it back around you. The ball's got to travel all the way around you, okay? All right, then you can go the other way, okay? Over here, back to the other side. Back in front, back to the other side, back in front. Here you go, Joe. Okay, this is a tricky drill. First, you're going to start off with the normal grip, the normal hands, stick handling. Now you can feel that ball in front of you. Now you're going to switch hands to get that top hand down the shaft so you're stick handling the wrong way. Keep that out in front of you. It's a tough little drill, but it's good for you. Gentlemen, great instruction. Kids, you did a great job. Did you have fun? Yeah! You look good doing it. These are great drills that you can do just about anywhere. On the driveway, in the basement, in your garage, at the rink. Just don't do it in the kitchen. These guys aren't going anywhere. We've got more coming up. How hard do you work at all your practices? I like to say that I work pretty hard. Uh, you know, you want to simulate games and practice, so, you know, the only way you're going to work hard in a game is if you work hard in practice. You can really judge yourself better that way. When you were growing up, who was your favorite team and who was your hero? Well, growing up, it has to be the Montreal Canadiens. And uh, Matt Snaslin was my idol, uh, besides Wayne Gretzky, like every other kid. But uh, Matt Snaslin, being a small player for his team, which I was as a kid, uh, I totally idolized him and I just wanted to be like him. What's your favorite thing to eat before a game? Before practice, I just go on with my regular day. I don't really uh, focus or change any diet. You know, for, before a game, I will eat the chicken, you know, the meat, the pasta, uh, the rice, salad. Uh, just make sure I get a nice and big meal, and I'll make sure to, to hydrate a ton during the day. How often do you get your skate sharpened? Uh, I get my skate sharpened quite a bit. I would say uh, during a game, usually, it's, uh, we do it between periods every time. Uh, there's always nicks in them, and uh, being a winger, play along the boards, you, uh, you tend to get some nicks, but uh, I definitely uh, make the trainers earn their money, for sure. Why do you like playing with a really long stick? Well, obviously, being a shorter player, uh, you know, you, the stick is an extension of, uh, of your arm, so uh, the longer it is, obviously, if you can manage with the stick handling, you know, I think that, you know, the more, the more ground you can cover, and, and the, the more uh, passes you can intercept. So, uh, so if you can play with a longer stick and still not take away any of the stick handling, it's an advice I would give to kids. What teams are known as the original six? The answer in a couple of minutes. Well, last time you guys showed us a bunch of cool drills to help improve our stick handling. And now we're going to take our practice a step further and add some props to the mix just to keep it interesting. Now, on the whole topic of practice, Marty,